Hi there guys, this is a quick ergonomic comparison between the iPhone 5 and the Samsung Galaxy S3 international version. I won't go into the internals of each phone, such as the processor, RAM, but I will talk briefly about how each phone feels in the hand, how it looks and so on. So firstly, I'll start with the Galaxy S3. It's actually got a plastic sparkly screen protector on, so that's why the screen looks a bit dotty and strange. So, many people complain about the big 4.8 inch screen, but personally I think it's very very great. The large screen makes viewing your content and everything so much better. For example, you see so much more of the web, um, your messages and everything. And for such a large device, it's surprisingly light and thin. It weighs 133 grams and it's 8.6 millimeters thin. One of the criticisms many people have of the S3 is that it feels very cheap and is made from so-called cheap plastic. The S3 is made from polycarbonate, which is 300 times stronger than the average plastic. And for the screen, Samsung used Gorilla Glass 2. Now onto the back. It has, this is also made of polycarbonate and it's a removable back. So this feels really bendy again feels kind of cheap to be honest with you and removing this we see a re removable battery um, the micro SD slot and a sim card slot right, this phone is difficult but not impossible to use with one hand if you are an iPhone user at first it might feel kind of strange but you'll gradually get used to it Reaching all four corners of the screen is possible if you hold it in a certain way. But for example, if you hold it like this, then it's more difficult. Um, the large phone, the large form factor of this phone means that having the sleep wake button at the top of the phone is not, you know, not viable. Therefore, Samsung have made it at the side of the phone, which you will get used to. Okay, now let's talk about the iPhone 5. They made it taller than the iPhone 4S, but not wider. It still fits very easily in the hand and can be used very easily with one hand. All corners can be reached very easily, as I just showed you. The primary materials are now gloss and anodized aluminium. It still has the same unibody design of the iPhone 4S. But instead of the stainless steel in the 4S, it now has this aluminium which is more prone uh, to scratching. And that is actually why I still have this plastic factory cover on, because my case still hasn't been shipped yet. And I really don't want to risk getting this scratched. So it will be, it'll be on there. It will be on there until I get my case. So this weighs 112 grams, which is 20% thinner than the 4S and has a thickness of 7.6 millimeters, which is 18% thinner than 4S. This is thinner than the, the S3, but you don't really notice it, don't really notice it much. Okay, so one of the main factors which drew me away from the S3 back to the iPhone is the actual design of the device. and. The iPhone just really looks so good. I don't know about others, but for me, the design of the phone is very important. And I think Samsung still has quite a bit to improve on in terms of design. Some of you may, of course, disagree with me, but this is just my personal opinion. I think Apples are masters at polishing and presentation. They are essentially perfectionists. Quite good use of alliteration there. Um, and for those who don't really care about the best specs on a smartphone, and one one that's just pretty and does the job, then the iPhone is the obvious choice. But for those who don't mind the aesthetics of the phone much and care more about what a phone can do, um, function over form in other words, then the S3 may seem more appealing. But at the end of the day, both phones are amazing in their own right, and it just boils down to preference really. Um, so thank you for watching this video, I hope I've brought up some interesting points and please subscribe for more iPhone and tech related videos. Cheers.